Hi, I'm Brett with Super Pro Suspension, and today we're going to talk about some of the different options we have for the front lower control arm of your Mark V or Mark VI Volkswagen Golf. When we talk about upgrading the front end of the Mark V, Mark VI platform, the first place to start is the rear position bushing of the front lower control arm. We've got the uh, two entry level options here. Um, you'll notice they look virtually identical, uh, with the um, Biggest difference, of course, being this one, the bore, is directly through the center of the bushing, and on this kit, it's offset. This kit is SPF 3171K. It's what we call a standard alignment replacement. You get the upgraded material. All of the voiding that's in the soft rubber uh, OE bushings has been removed. You get a more solid structure. But this is available in uh, a 70 or 80 durometer option. Same goes for the SPF 3273 on this side. Biggest difference with this one is rather than being centered, the bore in the bushing is offset. That means these can be dialed in for additional caster to the outboard positions or additional anti-lift geometry if placed at the 6 o'clock position or the difference can be split side to side for some of both benefits. There is a third option in the catalog as well. It's not particularly popular in the U.S., but places with heavily crowned roads, uh, you'll see what's called a single offset kit. It basically takes one standard and one offset bushing, puts them together, and this can be used to address a significant pull to one side or the other in the vehicle, um, or to center the wheel on uh, severely crowned roads where uh, you want to be, basically the vehicle wants to pull to one side uh, to head to the curb and the entry level versions. Uh, the factory control arm and the factory rear mounting bracket are retained. That means these are press fit because we're reusing the rear bracket. So these do have to be uh, pressed in and the OE bushings of course have to be pressed out. It's not particularly difficult, but if you're not doing it yourself, it does add to the labor cost some. Uh, in the entry level options, you'll also notice that the uh, inner bushing is entirely polyurethane. As we move up to the next level, you'll notice we put a, a stainless steel uh, shroud or cover on these to uh, make them a little more robust. If the car is primarily street driven, sees back roads on the weekends, something like that, these will hold up forever. There's really no, no detriment. If you're getting more serious about uh, going to the track, autocrossing, running big, wide, sticky tires, you'll want to check out the next option as well. Uh, again, SPF 3271K, SPF 3273K, both available in 70 or 80 durometer versions, and the single offset version we talked about is SPF 32, sorry, 3272K. Thanks. This is option number two. This is alloy 3273-80K. Uh, as you can see, the biggest difference uh, immediately is that this includes the mounting brackets at the rear of the front lower control arm. Uh, we've pre-installed the bushings in the control arms. This is exactly how you get them or how they arrive to you. You'll notice that the bushing is offset for uh, uh, both anti-lift geometry and additional caster. Um, this is a compound bushing kit like the last that we showed you. It's a two-piece bushing. With this out of here, you can probably see the offset a little bit better. Uh, this is the stainless steel sleeve that's part of the... Uh, inner bushing. It is bonded to the inner bushing, so it's not a, a third piece. It's actually part of this one. Um, additionally, the inner bushing is a 95 durometer piece uh, on this kit. Um, again, with the stainless steel sleeve, it just makes it more heavy duty. If you're more into performance driving, you're getting to the track, you're autocrossing frequently, uh, this is going to be a more durable kit uh, than the one we showed you earlier. Um, it's also going to save you some installation cost money. You don't have to press the bushing in or out. It already comes uh, assembled. Um, all of our kits have a lifetime warranty on the polyurethane with the intention that you'll probably never have to use it, but in the event you know you find a way to damage them, we'll take care of it. This is option number three. This is Alloy 0001K. Uh, this kit takes the Alloy 3273-80K that we just looked at and adds our Superloy Alloy front lower control arms. Um, these offer the same factory fit, factory function as like an Audi A3 arm. Uh, Super Pro specs our own alloy and our own, of course, uh, polished finish on these arms. Uh, if you have a Mark V platform car, these save you around five pounds per corner of unsprung weight. If you've got a Mark VI, it's more in the order of two pounds. That car uses a lighter steel arm from the factory. Um, this kit, while more expensive, will also save you some install dollars. Um, it swaps in as a complete lower control arm assembly with the rear and the front bushing, as well as, of course, the arm itself, uh, rather than having to disassemble, reassemble, uh, and go on from there. This kit does require, of course, an alignment like the other two to optimize all your newfound uh, geometry benefits. 
If you have any questions or need more information, contact your local SuperPro dealer or take a look at superpro-usa.com or our global site, superpro.com.au. Thanks.